Happy Dafties, and we're back with a brand new video, another Fit Pick Friday. Again, I do these every Friday, there is no other video this week. Again, this hasn't been very kind, but we move, we move, and let's go. Again, with Fit Pick Fridays, I go through Instagram and check through different hashtags, hashtag streetwear, hashtag Fit Picks, and hashtag DiabetesYT. So starting with number one, we have at underscore wallbum underscore. Starting with on feet, he's rocking a pair of blazers with a pair of wide leg stone trousers as well to go over the top of them. He's just got like a white t-shirt on underneath. He's got a cream shirt to go on top of that as well. The colours look very sick together. They, they are very clean. They're very like, they unitise very well together as well. The background isn't too distracting again. It's just again like a brick wall sitting on a seat. Like it's nothing taken away from the outfit, which is what we love. The whole outfit overall as an aesthetic is amazing. Like keep doing you because it's... Like, I just love the colours that have been matched with. Just the style, like, the blazers are beat up, which, again, I think blazers look amazing beat up. And how you've done the whole outfit, it's just, it's just awesome. So keep going. Go follow, please. Go show some support. Next, we have at BLVCKD0PE. I've probably got it wrong, but it's up there. <laughs> Rocking a pair of Vans on feet with a pair of, like, it's like a pair of knitted, like, purple and pink, pink coloured trousers. They're absolutely insane. Like, there's a close-up of, like, how it looks and they genuinely look so insane like they can't be I, I feel like they'd be really itchy but they, they look awesome wearing the Drew hoodie on top the colours match very well together obviously the vans are just like there they're black they're not taking anything away I'd say for sure the trousers are the statement piece out of the whole outfit because they just work extremely well and again the background isn't too distracting there's nothing taken away from the outfit nothing taken away from the statement pieces is, and that's what you want so go go follow please next we have at Nan Bad Zegua again it's up there I'm very bad at pronouncing stuff so it's, it's up there so go check it out please so starting with on feet we have the Jordan 1 low UNC's which again are my all time favourite colourway of Jordan 1's even in the lows highs off whites whatever you want to call them they are they fit in every single situation pairing them with a pair of cream trousers to go over the top of them which again the colours just work extremely well together like the, the UNC colourway with like a beige or a cream or like even a stone colourway fit so perfectly and you've got a dark or tone like cream or stone again the colorways are so hard to tell like the colors are so hard to tell through an image sometimes but it's like a darker colored shirt on top with the belt and the picture shown as well i think the whole outfit isn't like like you can tell the uncs are definitely the statement piece here and they should always be like if you're rocking like a sick outfit and a pair of six shoes like you're doing too much sometimes so you should definitely have a statement piece in an outfit and the uncs are definitely the statement piece the background again isn't taking too much away which we love to see next we have at eb.medi Again, probably got it wrong because it's up there. <laughs> so rocking the pair of Nike Sakai's on feet, I'm pretty sure this is the all white colourway. With a pair of white trousers to go over the top of them, so they're like layering over the shoe, which is, again, this is like a personal thing. Like I tend to sometimes more likely show off my shoes, like by using like, I don't know, like cargos and cropping them before they reach the shoe, or sometimes I'll wear wide leg to, to get rid of the upper section of my Jordans. It just depends how I'm feeling. So this is how he's done it here. Next, he's just got like a white t-shirt with like a, it's like a tan cardigan to go over the top of that and then you've got like a white pouch as well like a white over the shoulder pouch the whole outfit is very clean it's again nothing out there it's very simplistic but it works very well very minimalistic but that's never an issue when it comes to outfits especially when you can style everything properly and again the background doesn't take anything away so please go show some support i know i keep saying that but it generally does mean a lot so please do next we have at young ben gv underscore I don't know what these shoes are but it has them in nearly every photo and they're absolutely sick so if you know what they are please comment below because I can't figure them out. I can't find them anywhere and I'm probably being really stupid and it's probably something really easy but I'm just not I'm not seeing it but paired very well with these mint trousers the outfit works even like extremely well just with these two pieces then he just has like a white long sleeve on top and then he has that has that mint pouch as well to match up with the trousers the whole colors work extremely well like it's nothing massively out there but the colors are being paired very well together with the background he's done something quite sick here a lot of the buildings have the same kind of colorway or tone as the mint trousers a wee bit they're a wee bit lighter the colors match up well and that's obviously what he's planned here when he's took the picture so even though the background is a wee bit more cluttered with like plant pots and stuff like that extra bit of like matching goes a long way last but not least we have at i am r x c h i e i think that's right again the name's up there rocking a pair of the next guys on feet paired with a pair of cords wide leg cords which look insane and it shows a bit of sock as well so they're not long legged which i just love the look of 
then we can't see what he's wearing for a t-shirt but he's got like a Jill Sanders overcoat on which the colour looks insane you've got the black writing on the back as well and even with the mix of his hair colour the whole outfit the whole colourway of the whole tone of the whole thing is absolutely insane like it it just goes so well and multiple colours of the background go very well with like the different things in the outfit so like, you've got the stones to the right of the picture which goes very well with the overcoat so do as I do say like go follow them please like I, even if I get one person to go over and follow them or even like the picture that they've posted it means so much to me like even if I can use my small community to go do that that would be absolutely insane the world's got enough hate and everything in it right now we may as well take every opportunity we can to spread some positivity Again, the BLM information is in the description below as always, so please sign the petitions or donate if you can. This is, I know it's died down a lot on social media, but we still have to be fighting for it. So please go check out that link, as well as the mental health info that will also be in the description below, so please go check it out if you're having any issues with your mental health. There is a lot of issues going on right now just because of lockdown and stuff and a lot of people are finding it hard. Especially if you're having these issues and have been here for a couple of weeks, please just have a look at the links, like even if it's just for like five minutes, just have a look, try and understand understand what's happening a wee bit better because you need to know that you're not alone you Jeff, you are loved by so many so please be safe you are loved by so many again keep wearing your mask in public because it's still needed thanks for being patient with me guys and i'll see you in the next one peace